But Ryan have won five one there tonight. What do you what do you make of the performance? No, listen, um, I thought the boys were excellent. I thought we controlled the game for large periods. Um, you know, I said to them before the game, it's really important that they set a stall out first bit. Don't disappoint them. They're going to come here thinking we're a good side. Don't disappoint them. Make sure they know we are a good side. And, you know, we wanted high ball speed, high intensity, positive runs, progressive passes. And I thought tonight the boys carried that plan out excellently. Um, so, you know, I could, listen, I can't complain to a man. I thought we was brilliant. Yeah, we had, there was a man advantage on our side for quite a lot. We had quite yeah. a few chances. Would you say you're disappointed that we didn't score more than five in the end? Um, I think, listen, we, for, to score five goals in any game is a, is a really good sign. Um, I think when you when you go up against 10 after every man sent off, I think what they do is it become a bit more resilient. Um, they, they sit off, they make the spaces harder. Uh, we're fortunate that we've got a good surface where we can move the ball nice and quick. And it, sometimes it's a little bit of patience and we had to manage it a little bit because I think when they, went, when they had a man sent off, I think we... We reduced our tempo, we reduced our ball speed and I was a little bit disappointed and frustrated at half-time um, with the way we finished the game. I said to them at half-time, look, you've got to go back out, you've got to keep the tempo high, you've got to have high ball speed, you've got to keep doing the same things that got you so much success in the first 15 minutes and we could have had four or five in the first 15. Um, and credit to them, they went out second half and they were relentless, um, you know, really aggressive, really front foot, high intensity and they got their rewards. Um, and like I said, um, without, without their goalkeeper, I think the scores could have been, you know, double what it was today. I thought their keeper was out outstanding. You had Maxi Mullins out there today and you had Ashley Akpan they've yeah. been playing men's football. Would you do you think the other lads in the squad look up to them as like they can get to the men's stage? Yeah, hundred percent. Listen, having both of them here, they both come through the academy. They both got really good backgrounds. Uh, Maxi's obviously gone on this year to to play a number of games in the first team and, and you know, and it's done well. Um, Ash has been out on loan, and but he's been doing really, really well all season. So, for me, them two coming in not only shows a progression and a pathway for our younger boys, um, but it also shows them the standard of what's required. And and they both kicked on since they were they were in the academy, and I'm really, really pleased for them. They're both now here because you know they need to keep their minutes going. And the pleasing thing for me is they've they're, they're senior pros now, they're first team players, and they've come in with the right attitude, the professionalism has been spot on, and, and they've helped the young boys. It's very easy for them to be frustrated. Um, but listen, I can't fault them whatsoever. Their attitude, their application uh, has been absolutely top drawer and they're a credit to themselves and a credit to the club. No worries.